So my favorite memory or my the favorite year for me at Mary Monarch was the year that we did Manono for our Kahiko. No, as a Kumu, I always tell the girls that we don't enter for awards and places. Um, what's important is that we be memorable, we be effective, because that's the job, that's the kuleana of the olapa, of, of the hula practitioner, is to communicate something and have it be engraved in your mind. And so after we performed, and after the awards, my mom and my sister-in-law that were in the audience, they said that after the girls left the stage on Kahiko, people around them were like, Who's Manono? Like, who is this person that they're dancing about? I was at the Blaisdell a few months later and I saw this person, she made jewelry, and somebody next to me asked her, oh, was the design significant? And she says, oh yes, we call that our Manono design. And she proceeds to tell this woman about who she was and what she did and what her significance was. And she, I was listening in and it's like, wow, chicken skin, like to hear the community to talk about her was the goal, you know? So it didn't matter if we didn't win. Uh, what mattered was, I hope today, and I hope always when you see us in the costume with the red lauhala tops and the red and yellow, you remember that was Manono. You don't even have to remember it was us, but just remember that, that person that we were honoring, you know, because that's what's important. That's kind of the function of, of us, to have these names uh, in the forefront of our, of our consciousness again. <laughs>